Hey everybody and welcome back to my Iron Mario challenge. We are just about to take on World 5 of Super Mario Bros. 3. And I don't remember exactly what this world was about, but I do remember really liking it. I think there's a lot of sky stages, a lot of clouds involved. I think we want what's in that box, but I don't want to take my risk with that chain chomp. Maybe if we have to come back through here again, we can do it with a star. And these guys, I remember not being friendly to land on. Let's get the hell through any of these. What was his whole name? Quickly as we can. No! Okay, now that we're tiny, use the star. Whoa! Get through here as quickly as we can. Quick stage, nice. So, already we're starting off going into the ground and falling. I don't like this stage already. And that was just lame. Having mushrooms show up on the screen only to fall. I mean, I guess we could plan. <laughs> I guess we could plan to get that next time if we have to come down through there again. Nice reverse slide. I'm gonna go over here. I don't trust that pipe. What? So you could jump on their heads, but if they turn around and look at you. Mmm. Do not like. Alright, so this time we can plan to get that mushroom, maybe, if we can jump well enough. We don't want to land on that one. No, we have to. No! Oh, wow. Wow, okay, so we're not dead yet. That wasn't as bad as it could have been. I was really expecting to be dead there, so... What the f... That bastard. Still don't think we can get that mushroom very easily. Oh no, I guess we can go after it. But I'd much rather make it back up here. Nope, never mind. Are we going to fall faster than the mushroom? Because that's really going to be the only way that we'd be able to get it. Yeah, we lost it. Okay, let's go in one of these others. No, we can't. Okay, how about this one? No, just the one. That's fine. Down the drain we go. Nope. Take that, jerk. Alright, so, so far, Super Mario Bros. 3, still not as hard as lost levels. I'm not dying at the same parts over and over again. Let's go ahead and start ourselves off with a little bit of firepower on this one. Hopefully I'll figure out exactly what I'm thinking by the time this stage progresses. Right now, not really sure. I know we can use it for... Well, okay. I was going to say we can use it for these guys, because the platforming is going to be difficult, but... That wasn't an issue. Taste my butt. That came out a lot worse than I meant for it to. Alright, well, we made it to the end. Everything turned out better than expected. And of course, every three stages or so, non-matching cards. Now, I, we've gotten it a couple times. We've gotten all three stars a couple times. Let's go with number two. Tanuki suit. Not sure where I want to use it yet. Maybe if there's one with a lot of Doom balls, or or balls of doom rather. If there's a lot of enemies that are very hard to dodge that we can't necessarily take out by jumping on their head. Oh, let's see if we get anything up here. Never hurts to look. Once you find one secret, you want to look every time. Nothing. 
There's only nothing because I wanted to find it. All right, lingering a little too long. Let's go to let's go to world. Let's go to stage three before we go to the fortress. And again, down we go. We go backwards. Was this one of the stages with the boot? I don't know why. I feel like it is. Yes, but we can't get it without doing something specific. Maybe hitting it with my tail. No, nope, up underneath. That's not gonna work. We may or may not get the boot. The boot would be nice to get some extra coins, but not necessary to solve any puzzles. Don't really remember what was up with this area. Nothing. I'm thinking I chose this stage a lot when warping. Maybe it was the farthest you could get if you only had one whistle. Because I've definitely played this world more than I played the, the others in between. No! That was unfortunate, and so was that. Okay, you gotta be careful now. That's not careful, Josh. Oh, and we were attacked by a hammer brother. Well, the trick to them is just getting the jump on them right away before a lot of hammers are on the screen. Anything. Sometimes there's stuff. Another P-Wing. P-Wing wouldn't do us any good in this stage. So we'll use it. I guess it would do us some good. But it wouldn't do us crazy amounts of good crazy amounts of good my Christian rock band <laughs> yeah we're just kind of touring this stage I have no problems flying over a stage that I've already legitimately gone through to a certain point Not a certain point down here though succumbed to my inevitable demise because I told myself to be careful and that never works out. So we're going to be fair here and go ahead and take a fire flower, though the ability to use it on this guy is not going to happen. We just need to run over his head. And I think we may have made it to the end. Nice. The end of the stages in this game, pretty predictable. You know when they're coming. Now, okay, we have our card game again. So, I don't remember anything about the last attempt. So we're starting from scratch here. I think one of these might have been a mushroom. That worked. Anything we remember here? No. Okay, one up. All right, well, we'll try again next time. Do we get that mushroom? I think you do get the things that you that you flip over in the card game, which is kind of neat. You can get a lot of stuff all at once. Balls of doom. Leaf came in handy there. My tail was crushed by a thwomp. Let's see what we've got going on up here. Can we get to that? We can, but it's insignificant. Hmm, might be able to fly. Okay, we have to get on this side of this swamp and start running from here. Nope. Alright, we're just gonna continue on. <laughs> Got enough of those already. seems like a stage that's loaded with lots of secrets if you fly upward, but uh, we don't have we don't have the time for that. Uh, I'm thinking for this puzzle here, we need to run underneath that thwomp. I don't remember if you can still be crushed when using a star, but we're at least going to run through as much as we can at the beginning. And that's not a lot, because we have to take our time here. Oh yes, you can kill thwomps. Very awesome. Damn it. Well. 
let's uh, let's try this again. Let's this time let's go ahead and make ourselves large Mario and give ourselves a star since we have a surplus. Kind of look like Wario there for a moment. I know we have to go slowly there, but we can at least run through here. Whoa! All right, slow down. No longer have the ability to just run willy nilly. Almost waited too long there. I right, can make it to that platform. I think we can just run. Can we just run? We're gonna try it. Whew! Nice. Now we made it to our mini boss. Boss. All right, Fred. Not a difficult boss at all. Never even change him up. Fred is no more. We have unlocked our path back to the beginning, which was sort of insignificant. Let's see how many one ups we can get here. Usually zero, but I will play it for every opportunity. Now nah, that just spun a little bit longer than it should have. Maybe the game randomly decided not to let me. So we have a spire tower here with a fortress theme. I will take that leaf. That is nothing to be scoffed at. These balls of doom are something to be scoffed at. If I see them again, I will scoff. Not exactly sure how to scoff. I will have to look that up. <laughs> I know what scoffing is. Not sure if it has an assigned sound. Maybe a snort? A snort of disagreement? There's a ball of doom. Let me practice. Scoff! And he's just stuck, revolving around that orb for the rest of his life. Okay. I remember correctly those those domes, those those orbs hanging from the ceiling were significant, or at least become significant later, like they have fire in them or something. I could be wrong, but I guess we'll find out. Alright, on to some... Well, not on to some vertical action, it's already over. Alright, the other half of the stage. I like how the first half of the stage is miniaturized in the background. So now we're in heaven. And these just fling us. So we just need to jump over them as best as we can. That's not best. That's not even can. Alright, we want... Duh. We don't want any of the... Okay, we'll take the, the leaf. We can fly a little bit here. No? Wow, okay. Nice. So far, so good. Waterfalls, not necessary. That's how rain works. Alright, that wasn't too bad. And it's the end of the stage. I'm liking these shorter stages. And if we don't get trolled on our third card, we're gonna be able to get that uh, five lives and actually hit 20. The whole floor here is made of donut blocks. Which means no lollygagging. Lollygagging, where the hell does that word come from? I'm gonna have to look up its, uh. Oh, we got a tanuki suit. I'm gonna have to look up its entomology. Entomology? That either means where the word came from or the study of bugs. I don't. I don't remember. And I lost the tanuki suit to a lower grade power up but yes nice tanuki suit cool power up but not really needed I mean I've never really well, I don't know I guess there may be some areas where it would come in handy but I, I really can't remember many places where I've had to stop and wait for an enemy to go by that I couldn't just run over or jump on or avoid some other way. Mushroom head. 
Starface, and whatever comes up at the bottom doesn't matter. That's kind of grotesque looking. We'll move on to stage six. And it's gonna push me ahead whether I like it or not. Oh yeah, these guys. They kind of brought... Are these the guys that they kind of brought back in Mario RPG? I don't know, but without my leaf, this has become ten times more perilous. But yeah, I vaguely remember these guys in the Mario RPG shell game on the Game Boy, maybe? Or at least they kind of look like those? Maybe a mix between those and beetles? I mean, I guess they would call these beetles, but... I don't know, I'll have to look that up. It's been a while. Alright, playing this safe. Killed that guy. Don't remember his name at all. Some people they just didn't invite back for future Mario games. Another star. We are on a roll with these stars. Right, before we take on the Hammer Brother or go back and get the card game, can I go ahead and get, eh, everything we get, you know, everything we get's worth it in its own way. These guys, same, no, same plan usually. Could have done that with my tail in the first place. Another music box. Don't need to put them to sleep though, we'll have a bunch of music boxes by the end of this game. So we're going to try to destroy every single one of them. Was this a 10 piece? No, that was a star. It's kind of dodging around randomly now. 20. Kind of remember where the 10 and the 20 are. That might help me next time. People with better memories are probably screaming at their computer screens. That was the other thing! People with even moderately better memory. You can kind of see these guys coming from a mile away. Oh. I didn't really notice if they were mildly discolored or not, but it's just kind of kind of assumed that when you come across all these blocks that some of them are just going to jump out at you. No! No! Ah. I could feel that in my bones. Oh well. There's always a brighter side to losing your power up. and Or not always, I guess, but in this case there was. We don't want to go into the fortress alone. It's dangerous. So take this. Ooh. Hell of a way to start a stage. Alright. Lava on the ceiling. That's just unnatural. I mean, lava inside a building is unnatural, but... That'll help. How I float down while doing a somersault, I'll never know, but I need to commit to these jumps when I have a star because I have to bridge the gap. Star will not help you survive lava. That's for sure. No! Oh, you can't hit him with your tail? What kind of lame nonsense is that? Well, now I can't float at all. Whoa. Alright, get ourselves another <laughs> chance to get hit, essentially. We've made it to the end of that. Well, let's just go up a floor, since your floors are made out of lava. Alright, come on, Randall. You can fly? You can fly for like two seconds? His whole life he's known that if he gets stomped in the head, his arms will fall off and turn into wings, and he can finally fly and be free of the burden of the ground. And it happens for one second before he is murdered. Poor Randall. We are almost to the end of the cloud stage. Cloud world? Yes, cloud world. Constantly in my head. <laughs> miss... Miss... Not misquoting, not miss saying. Constantly saying stage instead of world, but you know what I mean. 
What's that? Oh, hey, it's that thing I just lost. Ah, oh, you die. I I would totally pay my leaf just to kill a Lakitu. Dun 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 dun! Hey, we might hit 30 here pretty soon before we hit a stage that's so difficult that ends up taking all of our lives. All right, now we have some diagonal push on this stage. This is my new least favorite stage just because of how stressed it makes me. Definitely don't play the don't play Mario if you're in an anger management program. What? Oh, man. That required a intermediate to advanced technique to to jump up from one of those to the other. I think it totally wants me to use my other P-Wing. Har har. As I stay over here to the left. Until uh, the fire tail bomb guy comes after me. I think I can still land on him. The noise is really annoying. I'm gonna try to make sure that's not up too loud for you guys. It's right in my ears. Alright, Tinkerbell. This is about where we where we left off. Also where we leapt off. I do not consider using a peewing on this stage to be cheap. Nice. I was worried about not getting the star on that because we didn't have a legitimate run. So I wasn't sure if it was going to have the right effect. Now we're going into a castle. We don't know what to expect, so let's not use a star or anything like that. Oh, he's been turned into one of the birds from Super Mario Bros. 2. Or a Fero. I want to pretend it's a Fero. It's a red Fero. It's a shiny. Now I kind of want to catch the king instead of save him. Oh well. Enough talk. How about you? I'm just going to keep getting points here. I don't know, the points, the points, they do nothing. Whoa, I don't know what made me think to jump out in front of that. I mean, I knew I wanted to jump off of it, but I didn't have to. They don't fire when you're standing on top of them, either. So your timing's all thrown off. We <laughs> could just stand here. Whoever's firing that cannon is... <laughs> Unbeknownst to them, they're completely useless shooting at Mario's shoes. These cannons don't fire out of the top. Maybe they do if you're standing above them, but that's not where we're going to be. We're just going to stick it out down here for a bit. Nice. We've made it to... Uh, maybe that's Roy? I forget. I don't remember if he was pink. Now where the hell did it take off to? We don't have anything to worry about, though, because we're all... We've beaten everything leading up to it. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's make sure that we have an extra hit we could take here. Of acid? Whoa! It's actually not that, uh, not that far off. Those mushrooms are based on a type of hallucinogenic mushroom. The more you know that your childhood heroes are stoners. Which actually, for kids from the 70s and 80s, most of our childhood heroes were stoners, whether we knew it or not. Just saying. Mario, in this version, kind of looking like Cheech Marin. How on earth does Mario fly when he has a raccoon tail? It's the magic dust, man. Get out of here. Go, now we have an extra hit to take on Larry Roy, whichever one this is. 
Oh, okay, that worked, sort of. I think we just won in the easiest way possible by guessing when he might come out of the shell and just being there right on time. Unintentional speed run. And again, this game isn't repetitive at all. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Thank heavens, I'm back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here's a letter from the princess, where she will give you a cloud or a pea wing. How did I guess? Some ball and music on the ice world. In the next episode of Iron Mario Challenge. Josh will take on World 6. As usual, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.